GI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 9 playthrough. Oh my god, like really? Okay, so I. <laughs> you can see across the water there, we have our patrol vessel skimming across the water like a freaking hover vessel. <sighs> he won't leave the small wreckage alone I had to abandon everything over there like literally like everything as soon as I woke up from sleeping in the tent it was there on top of me shooting it just barely missed me on the first shot I jumped on my bike and that's all I could do I had no time because if I let it shoot at me it would have killed all my gear so now I'm screwed it's it's camping my equipment I don't know what the hell to do. And it's going to start hailing. Oh, great. That means we're going to start taking damage. We might have to jump in the water. <sighs> I I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. This, this guy is relentless. It's like he knows that my portable constructor got placed there and he's just camping it. It's unbelievable. I've never seen that behavior until Alpha 9. <clears throat> I didn't even start a base or nothing, and it was there. It came at me. Okay, so we got to try and get our stuff and get the hell out of there. And it's going to be over. I'm going to be overweight, so I'm going to have to be picky when I grab everything. I think a lot of our food is going to start... No, not necessarily, but... <clears throat> well. Uh, we're going to run out of oxygen soon. We're down to our emergency O2. Okay, is he far enough away? We'll just monitor him as we drive. It's a little bit hard to do when you're tabbed. Tabbed because the camera doesn't want to spin. There. If, if we come at it from... God, it looks like it's actually in the water a bit. here. I have to go for my stuff. What? Oh, hell! Are you kidding me? Uh, I gotta pick up one of these. And I'm too cold? Come on! I'm trying to get warm here. This is not good. Come on, heat up. We gotta grab this. I think we're just gonna have to not grab that. Uh, okay, so let's be very selective. We're gonna lose a bunch of gear here. And we can't carry anymore. Okay. I know I'm taking damage. Can I get out of this hail somehow? Like. <laughs> nope, not without the heater cooler. Okay. And where's the patrol vessel? Gonna be back any second, I bet, eh? Okay. Uh, what we can do, I think, is try and here let's 
throw stuff in here that we're not going to need. That we're not going to need. Crazy. <laughs> this is a crazy planet. I'm going to need that. Okay, we, we, we've just got to abandon those, I think. Can we grab any more of them? We got to jump in the water, I think. Uh, this is this is insane. <laughs> this is insane. Oops, no, wrong way. Yeah, put it up there. Uh, other stuff we can't use. Just throw it in there for now. is insane insane in the membrane uh, we're gonna have to lose all that stuff okay I think we're okay down here Ugh. Okay, well, <laughs> that sucked. <sighs> well, let's just... I, I don't even know what to do now. This is crazy. I can't even be out there. Ugh. Oh, what I should have done is made a cargo box and stick it, stuck it on that frickin' thing, and then I could have picked up everything, I bet. I guess what we could do is put it, uh, put this down here. Put everything into it, and then try and go back for the stuff. But the hail is going to kill us. We can't. We can't. I'm going to have to use this. <clears throat> Didn't really want to, but... I, I don't see another choice. <sighs> Crap. <laughs> okay, well let's let's put the rest of our gear down. <sighs> We're stuck down in the freaking lake again. <laughs> this is a challenge. Can't even get out of the freaking water. I feel like the early days of evolution, trying to climb out of the water. I need to grow some legs, or at least uh, grow some nads. <laughs> Odd. Ugh. And. It's still hail. I, I just don't want to go out there when it's hailing. I'm, I don't have a way of healing anymore. Hail. Great. Yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> really? And is it going to... We take damage while we're... Yep. While we're swimming. Okay. <coughs> hmm. I see the, oh, I still see the container, I think. So let's, because I want to salvage those cement blocks. And, yep, containers there. Ugh. Uh, that's it. This is ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. And I'm too cold. <laughs> of course I am. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. 
<sighs> Although, thank God that the water gets rid of the hail effect because, uh, yeah, I'd have I'd just be dead right now. Okay, so this this planet is unforgiving. Wow, freaking patrol vessel. <sighs> <laughs> well, I, you know what? I'm still alive. I'm still alive. He didn't get me. I got most of my equipment back. Uh, that means we can't build a base out on out in the open. So what are we going to do then? What are our options? What are our options? Can't even heal up. That's so sad. <laughs> that sucks. That sucks. Uh, okay, so I think what I'll do is let's let's grab some ore on us because we're gonna make another mobile constructor. cooler back down on our bar okay and I think we're gonna have to start thinking about moving somewhere else like maybe where the promethium deposit was and just dig that right out and actually build a base in there underground I think I want to do that so what we'll do is we're gonna get a whole bunch of biofuel going then how much can we make not a lot but that's okay <clears throat> we'll try and pick up some wood on the way um, so the second constructor we're going to use to to leave behind at the Prometheum. Okay. So come on. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that stuff craft. Is it? It's almost night so maybe we should what we'll do I think is let these run we'll let these run um, and then I will come get you I'll probably I'll use the tent and sleep overnight. Right, come on, right there. And so as soon as it gets dark, we can sleep. We can we can actually pick these again. That's excellent. So we'll, we're never going to run out of food if we can just keep coming back to the uh, coming back to here. We're going to actually end up with food spoiling when we sleep here. I think. That's okay. We could, like I say, we can make a ton of of seaweed snacks or whatever you want to call them, the uh, energy bars. Okay. Uh, so I will come grab you when I'm about to jump out of the water, and we'll fly back over to the Prometheum site and dig that out. I think that's where we're going to establish ourselves. That's where we're going to have to establish ourselves. Um, yeah, we're going to have to get the get a shelter right away from the from the hail and heavy hail and all that crap, obviously. Whew. Okay, I'll come grab you in a bit. Okay, we're back. I slept the night and I just picked up the tent and we are... I think ready to go. Let's grab one of the oxygen generators. 
Yeah, I know it just it just absorbed one. That's okay. And what's our weight at? 194. Oh, we got food spoiling. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, that's okay. We've got we've got lots of food that's not going to spoil for quite a while. So we'll just we'll just do that. Come on. Okay. So let's. We're going to leave one of the oxygen generators and obviously one of the portable constructors because I'm not going to be able to carry everything. So what we want is we want all the... Um, oh, we're not going to be able to carry those concrete blocks, are, are we? Not many of them. We need... Should we just take all the ores? For starters, and we'll have to come back for the concrete. Yeah, that's it. We can't carry anymore. So, okay, let's head up. We can't stop and grab anything. We can't carry anymore. So what? actually what I'm going to do is let's mark the Prometheum. Okay. Head up there. Let's make sure that I didn't see the patrol vessel dot. No, good. <laughs> Man. Talk about heroin. That was, that was quite the... Uh, that was quite the evening. <laughs> the early evening yesterday was uh, was quite stressful. Quite stressful. Okay, and then we're going to be freezing a lot here, so we're going to have to stop a lot. But let's get up. into some flat area there shouldn't be there might be some spiders in here left over from last night okay we look okay right here let's just jump out really quick and do the chillax here literally It starts hailing again. Oh my god, I don't know what the hell we're going to do. We're going to die, basically. <laughs> or I guess we we try and make it to the Polaris compound. trying to drive without getting stuck. Small wreckage to the north, that's fine. We don't have the space to go check it out anyway. And we gotta stop. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> like what what what's it doing? Come on. Thank you. Get to this Prometheum. I swear to God, if the if the patrol vessel's hovering over this Prometheum, I don't know what the hell. I don't know what we'll do. Oh, we can't go into the Polaris area anyway. That huge, massive blob of drones is there. Going and uh, hovering above the uh, Polaris compound. I guess they got them under siege. Yeah, I don't see any uh, dangers right now. Let's just get this thrown down while we can. Keep this routine going. Don't let ourselves get too cold. Yeah, 
Yeah, the first few episodes of this series is going to be watching me struggle trying to survive on this planet. Like, just frickin' struggle. Drones around, good. Patrol vessels not around, good. Pick this up. And where is the hole that we dug? Over here, okay. Let's just get in our hole. Throw this down. And at least we have line of sight on most most things. Let's um, get the constructor down. Where is it? There it is. I'm like, um, did I not grab it? <laughs> no. Okay. We'll get all of the stuff that we don't need into it. We don't need a bunch of that stuff. Don't need any of this stuff right now. Okay, let's get one of the oxygen down. And we'll at least get that going. I might be moving it, that's why I just put one in. Uh, and we'll just throw these in there for now. Throw that in there for now. I'm just trying to make as much space as possible. 80, okay. That in there, 66. Uh, we'll put the biofuel on there, 52. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. That's going to spoil right away, isn't it? Let's just... Oops, that was stupid. Oh, actually, it made them... It actually increased their... One of them increased them all by a bit. Okay, that's good. That gives me some more time on them. That's fine. That's good. Okay, so let's get out of here and head back. So we'll mark that. We'll do water condenser. Okay. Okay. Nothing showing on our map right now. No. Okay. And we've got our we've got to take our heater cooler with us. I mean, there's water right there, so that's not too bad. We can set up water generators eventually. So let's get heading. Yeah, we got golems over there, so we got to be careful. really fractured there's a lot of uh, I think they call it noise that they added to the ground anyway let's uh, can we skirt these mountains just making sure that our temperature doesn't get too too bad those guys before we stop and warm up yeah they're far enough they won't they won't aggro okay and there we 
go. Yeah, basically this episode is to see if I can move to the Prometheum hole. I guess we should let's let's check the small wreckage. Let's check it. You never know. It could be something really useful. Oh, no, we're not going to check the wreckage. Let's not bother. There's a dude right there. He'll aggro on us. Not interested. And we'll have to stop and warm up here. Okay, we're back in the... See how the crash site is like fractured by mountains and stuff? So there's little chunks of it here and there. Not really sure if I can actually ever stop that from happening, but I don't really care. This planet isn't about making it as easy on as possible on the uh, player. <laughs> this is for... Come on, really? You're just... Wow, you suck. Would not turn. It just would not turn there. Ugh, come on. It's like spinning out doing nothing. There we go. Uh, we gotta put our heater cooler down. Wow, this is a chore. <laughs> this is not easy. Nothing about this start has been easy. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Ugh. Hail again? Are you kidding me? Ugh. Hail again, yeah. The very next day I hailed again. I'm so surprised the pro patrol vessel isn't uh, isn't hovering over our water condenser. Well, we're not going to be able to, uh, we're not going to be able to, to head there. And that's why I left one of the O2 here, just in case that we got stranded between points like we are now with the hail. <laughs> it's just, uh, I want off this planet. I want off this planet. Heck, I might just pick seaweed and build like a cheapo, cheap, cheap, cheap ass V. To, oh no, you need to make a freaking base. You can't just do that anymore. I could spawn one in, I guess. Huh. It's not a bad idea. Going to creative. I do have some. I do have some super cheap. Let's take a look. What do we got here? see it. A Kano, Kano Claptrap. There it is. Copper, silicones. Why is that level 7? What the hell's it got on it? It's not that cheap, is it? Yeah. No, I'll, I'll have to craft something up. Okay. Well, it looks like we're stranded down here until the storm passes. So I guess what I'll do is I'll just pick seaweed. I'll go around and pick seaweed. That's kind of lame, but we, we, we got no other choice because, ooh, level five already. All right. I haven't even made a vehicle yet. Level five. <laughs> just, oh, wow. 
Yep, gotta wait till the hail is over. But I, I don't know how we're gonna deal with the hail if it starts hailing again right away when we're over there. Uh, I don't know if that other water source is gonna be deep enough. I hope so. I really freaking hope so. <sighs> well, this is, wasn't much of an episode watching me <laughs> run from hail. <sighs> yeah, this has been an unrelent unrelenting, unforgiving planet. Just the way it was supposed to be. <laughs> so I guess I made it right. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, you know what? I think I'm not going to bore you with just me swimming around picking seaweed till it stops hailing because by that time the episode's going to be over anyway. I think what I'll do is I'm going to call the episode here and I'm just going to have to wait out the hail. I'm just going to have to swim around until it stops hailing. Then I'm going to, I'll just off camera, I'm going to move all my stuff over to that Prometheum node and try and get all I need to get out of the hail, I believe, is, I don't think it needs to be sealed. I think I just need, like, a concrete above me uh, by a block or so, and then, and then uh, no opening for at least a couple blocks. So a semi, semi-enclosed with uh, an unsealed opening should be fine. But yeah, we can't go anywhere until it stops hailing. There's just no way we will die. That's just <laughs> crazy. As crazy as this is. Wonder if we took any damage if our um Oops, did we just nuke it all? Nope, that's fine. Actually we increased the time on it. That's good. Guess we'll just keep, just keep making, <sighs> making food. Um, right, we're gonna check to see if our armor got damaged. Wow, did it ever! Holy crap! So hail nukes your armor. Great, lovely. <laughs> oh man, I just can't win. This is. This is tough. Tough, tough, tough. Okay, guys. Well, <laughs> I'm going to pick my seaweed, and uh, hopefully it stops hailing so we can go outside and play. Um, yeah. Until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.